you know, theoretically, I think it's probably a little bit easier for Noel to poke out from under orbs or to break orbs. Oh, Koma is just not in the air. Moon Drive to maybe try to convert something. Does it? So Koma is going to spend Moon Drive and lose half a life bar for his trouble. Empty jump, empty jump. For low poke. Great 2 BC uh, to escape once again. Very safe, very fast move. Oh, beats in the air, air grab into Oki. Early orb burst from Koma. Just kind of wants a corner as fast as he can. Oh, okay. So we're just going to keep on mashing on the ground until you drop guard. Uh, Quincy is going to have to kind of work her way through how this matchup works. Work her way around Koma as a player. Because Koma, if you give him a chance, he just will not stop. Very airtight block strings most of the time. Alco just putting orb on top of you. Very much win more conditions. By the way, males do not break projectiles. Oh, good. Air Oh, a little bit too close. A little bit too under. Does get the fatal. Tries to get the crown conversion, but Koma's gonna make the most of it. Good block on the overhead. We're gonna see an orb break to extend the combo. Just have to do it one more time. Spend some meter. Oh, you almost had it. Alco was out of meter. Out of orbs, just hold back just a little bit longer. You'll find your opportunity eventually. Especially, oh, Moon in the Moon. Tries to match the orb covers. And Rodney P. So this should be it for Koma. Koma takes game one in winner's fin or grand finals. I said Quincy Tatari has been fighting very strong tonight. If anyone can do it, it is them. But we kind of need to figure out how to block against Alko first. I think Alko is also one of those characters. It's hard to get like a lot of common experience against them. There are plenty of Alkos out there. None of them are quite like Nakoma. Patient in general just can tend to put an orb on top of you and just keep you in the corner forever until you mess up. He's just that type of player archetype. Wait till you mess up. Be as patient as possible. Make you play at his pace. Oh, drop shield a little bit early. And see, right there, you know, Quincy Tatari had a moment of aggression. And Koma just, you know, backs up, plays some more, shoots some beams, makes you come to him. You think you have an advantage, but you end up not. Quincy Tatari makes it in. The Atari, not letting Koma use those four bars of meter, should end this with Super as well. What's the Oki? Uh, triple empty jump. Wow! How did he... How did... How did Noel end up on that side of Alka? Big resource lead for Koma, but that is not much health to go off on. Koma, notorious for not using heat, by the way. I would fully expect Koma to just not, even if he gets the uh, Oki here. Oh, well, okay, I'm a liar. Old shield, good job. Oh, drop shield just in time to be able to hit the landing. Yeah, I'll be real. Uh, Koma is a little notorious for not using Blood Heat. I didn't know he had it in him. I didn't even know that he had a combo that ended with him going into Blood Heat. Oh, DP punishes! Oh, DP loses again! I have not seen Koma get hit by a DP yet this series. But why not try? You've got a full extra round. You have resources. We'll see if Quincy Takari regrets fishing for the Dragon Punch or not. I commented that these orbs might be a little bit easier for Noel to work through. It appears that is not the case. They are giving Quincy Takari's Noel as much trouble as the rest of us. 
Double orb. Get on the wall. He retreats back to it, too. Oh, good mail. You can't make that your whole game plan. You have a limited amount of keys. But it's pretty good approach there. All right. What's the play here from Quincy Tatari? You have an orb on top of you. Man, just to block. Quincy Tatari really, really needs this round, needs this game. You do not want to be forced to revert to sweep against Matt Coma. We yeah, have four bars, that helps. Oh, doesn't convert! And then we have shield, and shield! Good BC! Excellent situation for Quincy Tatari. Are we just gonna spend meter? One bar? Take Oki, Blood Heat? That's probably the best possible situation right now for Quincy Tatari. He X nailed and make himself safe. Man, it ends up not mattering. Koma picking out Quincy Tatari on that round with the last bit of damage. And Quincy Tatari, they are going to have to figure out this game in with three in a row. I will say, game two looked a lot better than game one. So I think Quincy Tatari has it in them to figure this out. And that spacing is a good sign of it. That's a near take the corner. What's the mix up? Oh, FTID into the throw. Good rebeat. Poke, poke, poke. Oh, did not. Koma did not hesitate to try and fight out of there. And now you're in Alco's block string jail. Oh, misconversion. And now Quincy does make it out and pokes out with 2B. Ends up not converting. Koma taking much advantage out of that. Double orb. Oh, just, oh, just shield up a little bit longer. So scary. When you have not just one, but two orbs on top of you. Oh, great fatal. Quincy there to poke. You have the meter. We won't kill. Blood heat. Okay. You have to make it worth it. You have to kill here. You no longer have any meter. You got a little bit of health back, so you should survive one more combo. But you don't have the meter to kind of close out immediately. It doesn't matter. The health is failing. Oh, fatal from the clash. Oh, and Koba's going to take the round. Through clash fatal. Oh, my God. Koma just charges in, dude. I'm like half stunned that that worked out for Koma. I'm half stunned that we saw such a brazen steal around just by super jumping in. All right, we got the corner again. Orb goes down. Charge B, or charge C rather. Overhead. Quincy Tatari has been doing a great job blocking that overhead for most of the series. This was not an ideal time to fall for it once. Okay, does go for the put. Go for fatal. Okay, good conversion. This should probably end in a blood heat. Yep. Good shield. Good patience with the A follow up. That's going to burn all the heat. I don't think it's going to kill, but we are very close. Yep. Try to extend it with OTG. Doesn't matter. Koma taking it, taking yet another FGC at Xandu. Taking down Quincy Tatari, his latest challenger. And congratulations on the screen. You see Koma has won it once again. Amazing job. Oh my god. Koma is... If the DM... Okay, so so I've talked... I talk, we went to CEO talk here together. Uh, Place very high, 17th. Koma wanted better than 17th at uh, CEO talk here. And he told me, you know, I'm going to start going out to more of these day trip tournaments. I'm going to start going out to more majors, planning them out. Uh, Winter Brawl, uh, coming up to Lunar Phase up in New York City uh, Saturday. Uh, obviously, we have East Coast Qualifiers. Um, Koma, you're going to see Koma on the national scene more and more. He's starting to feel himself in this game. He's got he's got a little bit of, uh, you know, he, he the, the bug has bit him. He is ready to go out there and fight. And congratulations once again. You have not heard of the last of Koma. Of course, you hopefully we'll see him uh, represent our region a little bit more as he starts to go out to some tournaments. 